Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be taking you through the installation steps for applying the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector to your new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Though quite pricey, Whitestone have built up a reputation as one of the most premium screen protectors on the market. Using their special UV adhesive method, there's a high chance of getting zero imperfections every time you apply, providing you with full coverage, clarity and responsiveness. Starting with the installation, it's best to lay everything out on the table to get to grips with everything you'll need, as there's quite a few steps here compared to the regular two-step application. The most important thing is making sure your work surface is flat, as the adhesive can run off the edges if there's even the slightest incline. Before you start the process, make sure you remove any other screen protectors that may already be present. First off, take one of the cleaning wipes and give your screen a good clean while lying flat, taking care to get every corner of the screen. Wipe away any excess with the microfiber cloth provided to make sure the screen is completely dry. Go ahead and use the dust removal stickers to check that you've not missed anything as dust can settle on the screen between these steps without you noticing. Now you're ready to insert your iPhone 11 Pro Max into the installation tray like so. The tray has speaker written on the top right corner to help you place the phone the right way up. Once this is done, take the top section of the tray and place it over the top of the phone, taking care to align the corner with the matching text underneath. The kit comes with two speaker covers. Remove one and affix it to your speaker to stop the adhesive running into the mechanism, making sure you fix the tab into place like so. Use the two absorption pads and place them either side of the phone, so when the adhesive is applied, there's no excess liquid where it shouldn't be. Give the screen one last pass over with the dust removal stickers to ensure nothing has fallen onto the screen in between steps. Next, take the plastic bridge and insert it onto the two slots in the middle of the tray. This will hold the adhesive tube in place during application. You'll find two adhesive bottles in the box. You will only need to use one as the other is provided as a backup in case of any errors during installation. As you can see, there's one coloured cap and one smaller black cap on either end of the tube. Unscrew the coloured cap and place the bottle into the hole on the bridge face down. Don't worry about spilling the adhesive, as it will not dispense until you remove the black cap on the other end. Now remove the black cap to allow the liquid to spill out onto the screen leaving it for a few seconds to completely empty onto the surface. Once the liquid is out, remove the black bridge carefully to avoid moving the bubble. It's now time to apply the screen protector. Peel back the protective film, taking care not to touch the exposed surface. Begin by lowering the glass protector onto the tray with the speaker end first before resting the other end onto the blue tab attached to the tray, taking care not to touch the adhesive bubble. Once you're happy with the alignment of the glass protector, take the glass slide bar and slot it into place on the upper tray just above the speaker end. Angle the slider at a 45 degree angle and push it along the tray towards the opposite end, allowing the protector to drop into place. This action will cause the adhesive to begin spreading to the corners of the phone. Allow the adhesive to settle and spread for a couple of minutes before moving on to the next step. At this point, if the adhesive is not spread evenly, or if there is anything not quite right about the installation, now is the point where you can remove the glass, wipe away the glue from both the screen and the protector, and begin the process again from the start, with the spare tube of adhesive before the curing process. If everything has gone smoothly, you can now use the UV light to cure the protector into place. Plug the light in and press the button on the side to activate it before placing it over the tray starting at the top first for 15 seconds and then moving it to the bottom for a further 15 seconds to complete the initial curing process. You can now remove the phone from the tray, taking time to wipe away any excess adhesive from the sides of the phone. To complete the installation, simply lay the device on a flat surface and repeat the curing process exactly as before. But this time, keep the UV light on the speaker and connector ends for 60 seconds each to ensure the protector is completely secure. Now you can enjoy your phone with the peace of mind that your screen is fully protected from wear and tear. I can already see the benefits of this glass protector, causing little to no obstruction to the phone's usage. Texting and surfing through apps, I can see no disruption to the regular responsiveness I'd usually get without a protector. Even while watching videos, it still gives complete clarity to the iPhone 11 Pro Max's brilliant display, and it fits neatly around the speaker and front-facing camera. I can see why phone users are a little apprehensive of the steep cost and lengthy installation process of this protector, but using this technique makes it less likely to result in dust imperfections, which is something I always struggle with when applying regular glass protectors. Seeing the quality of the final result kind of makes you look past the hassle of the application in favour of the crystal clear coverage. The dome glass even works well with some of the cases I've tried, from soft silicone to hard shell tough cases. I hope you've enjoyed this step-by-step -step installation guide and review of the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you like the look of this screen protector or would like to purchase one for your iPhone 11 Pro Max, please follow the links in the description below and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mobile accessory news.